What is going on guys, Brent Singh here, Rise Up Fitness. I'm back with you today for another rapid review. Today we're looking at Nutritex Premium Mass Folder. Okay, so first things first, having a look at the packaging, it's very much in line with what Nutritech has been doing with their packaging all along. Just basically laying out the product, putting big bold what the flavor is going to be like. In this example, I have strawberry and I have chalk mint. And I have to say, from opening both of these, this one is definitely stronger. I'm actually looking forward to tasting that. So going back to the packaging, it has all the basic information that you need when shopping in the store, like the number of servings, the amount of protein, the grams of carbs, just no outrageous statements like we've seen on some other products. So I spoke about the history of Nutritech and a little bit more about the company in one of my other reviews and I'll link that at the bottom below, you guys can check it out afterwards. Uh, but with this, the next thing I want to look at is the actual nutritional facts. So even though Nutritech calls this their mass builder, it's actually pretty low in calories compared to others on the market with only 428 calories per serving. And that's made up of 45 grams of protein, 60 grams of carbs, and then a tiny bit of fat, which most protein shakes have anyway. What I generally do with this is that I'll half the serving and then have it as an intro workout. So that'll give me roughly 22 grams of protein, just like a whey shake, and 30 grams of carbs, which essentially covers me for my entire workout. Another way that I like to use this is if I'm in a bulk and I've just completed five meals and I know that there's a sixth meal coming but I don't feel like I have any space, what I'll do is I'll have a full serving, I'll add a little nut butter to it, maybe peanut butter, maybe almond, almond butter if I have any, and then just have that before bed and I'm good to go. I know that I've made my calories for the day, I know that I don't have to sit there eating another meal of chicken rice and broccoli or whatever bodybuilders eat these days. When it comes to mixability, it's actually pretty great. As you can see, there's just a few spots where it didn't mix properly around the inside of the shaker, but it's nothing to cry about. It's not like you're losing tons of protein in that. It's probably less than a gram in total. I have to say that the final product looks pretty good. Even though today I mixed it with water instead of milk, they both look pretty much like a milkshake. Okay, so on to the taste. This is what you've been waiting for. I'm gonna start with the strawberry. Uh, this is actually something I've been having for a while and then I stopped for a bit, but let me give it a shot. Okay, so first thoughts on that is that it is sweet. Very sweet. Uh, it sort of tastes like Nesquik if you've ever had it. Um, there's, there's a lot of uh, artificial sweetener in there, and you can def that definitely comes through. So when I mentioned mixability, what actually comes through is like this full milkshake feeling in your mouth. It doesn't feel like you're drinking something that's been watered down, which is nice. Uh, this is exactly the measurement that they give you. It's two scoops, 120 grams. 350 mils of water. I've halved both these servings just so that they fit in these glasses. So on to one of my favorite flavors, Chalk Mint. Let's see how this one turns out. So with this flavor, it definitely smells better than it tastes. You sort of do get that chocolate flavor coming through, but if you heard me speak about Nutritech flavors before, their chocolate always has this sort of burnt taste to it. And, it's, and it comes through with this as well. I'm not sure what's in their flavoring that does that, but they just, they can't quite nail what actual chocolate tastes like. All in all, the flavor's not bad. If you had tried a sample of one of them, I don't think that would deter you from buying the product. But I will say that it just misses the mark on each of them and it's not quite as advertised. I think that Nutritech could do a little bit more refining in order to get these products exactly as it says them. So the reason why I got these is because of two factors. One, they met the mark, 
with regards to the macros, I wanted to have 45 grams of protein and 60 grams of carb, and two is the price. So Nutritech products in general usually have a good price around them. Uh, you often pay for quality and these certainly aren't the cheapest on the market, but they usually fall within a great price range and have good specials on them very often. Uh, one of these containers is roughly 500 Rand for 5 kg and that's about 100 Rand per kg, which is pretty good for a mass order. So there you have it, the Nutritech Premium Mass Builder. 45 grams of protein, 60 grams of carbs, a flavor that's not quite there, and all for roughly 500 Rand per tub. All in all, I think I would give this about four to five stars. The reason why is that it does meet my macros exactly. It's not too high in carbs. It's pretty much exactly what I needed when I was looking for it. And I could deal with the flavor, especially when it comes to the chocolate. And that's it guys, that's a wrap on another rapid review. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried this, what do you think of it, if you like the flavor, if you hate the flavor, if you've tried other flavors that I hadn't at all. And also let me know if there are other products that you want me to try. Okay guys, until next time, I'm Brent Singh, this is Rise Up Fitness, peace.